King Rothgar was the king of Denmark. He built a great hall and called it Herot. When the hall was finished, the Danish warriors gathered under its roof to celebrate. Grendel, a monster, lived at the bottom of a nearby lake. The loud noise from the hall made Grendel angry. He came and killed thirty of the warriors in their sleep. For the next twelve years, Rothgar and his men lived in the fear of Grendel. Veolf, a prince of the Geats, heard about Rothgar's trouble. He came with his friends to help Rothgar. Rothgar welcomed Veolf. Grendel appeared on the very first night and in a fierce fight, Veolf tore off the monster's arm from the shoulder. Grendel escaped to the bottom of his lake and later died of bleeding. But Grendel's mother came to the hall for revenge and the attacks began again. Beowulf followed her to the lake and jumped into it. Grendel's mother carries him into her den. After a terrible battle, he was able to kill her. He came back to the shore with Grendel's head. Rothgar presented Beowulf with treasures and then embraced emotionally like father and son. Then the Geats sailed home. Beowulf's uncle King Hygelac was old now. When he died Beowulf became the king of his people. He protected them from every danger for 50 years. At last, in his old age, he had to fight against a fire-breathing dragon to protect his people. In the fight, he killed the dragon, but he also died of wounds. They built a great funeral pyre for the great warrior. His ashes were buried near the sea with the dragon's treasures.